Hey everybody, here's just a quick garden update for you. Uh, we're getting close to the end of October here and we've been cleaning up the garden beds, pulling out the old plants that are done, cleaning up the beds a little bit. And so we uh, put in some fall crops here, some parsley, and here we've got some romaine lettuce and some red tip lettuce. So the big box stores have, you know, some fall vegetables that can withstand some of the cooler temperatures so we put that in and we might put some more of that stuff in here now just to kind of you know plant a little bit of stuff uh, for the fall and then over here you know we haven't really tackled much of this area yet uh, but there are some you can see some rogue cucumber plants started so it's like all right i'll let them grow wild they're usually stronger than anything you plant out of seed anyways See if we can't get a few cucumbers before it gets cold. We're supposed to have a warmer uh, winter here in uh, North Texas. So maybe we'll have an opportunity for a few more crops. Looking back here, you know, it's probably another two weeks, three weeks, and I would expect the uh, sweet potato vines to start turning. I mean, they're still green, which means they're still viable and growing in that. But as you can see here, um, at some point they're going to start to turn brown when the weather gets cooler cooler uh, they'll change color and then we'll see in the original bed of our sweet potatoes uh, what do we got this year as well as the new bed that I planted here uh, for sweet potatoes what uh, what we may have here so once the uh, once the leaves start to turn brown and the temperature goes down like about middle of November right before Thanksgiving we'll harvest that and then see what we got. In the meantime, of course, you know, we've been kind of rethinking what we're gonna do for the garden. You know, we got the new mulch down and that's a good thing. Uh, these raspberries are pretty much done for the season. I'm gonna cut those back and I'm gonna transplant these raspberries over here. This is gonna be my new raspberry bed like I told you before. Uh, so it'll give us, a, I think, a better opportunity to grow as well as next year putting the sweet potatoes back there. Um, and then we've been harvesting some goji berries here. You can see that they're ready to be picked. I picked some and there's more that need to be picked. So uh, that's kind of a little garden update here for you. And we'll see you later.